Hello and welcome to my series Learn Radiology with Dr. Anil Joshi. This series we have covered many topics of the radiology, many branches of radiology for different different capacities. Some are for the radiologists, some are for the residents, some are for the medical imaging technology boys and there are all the branches of radiology are covered. They are extensively available on my website or on my YouTube channel. Now today's lecture is a simplified version of the radiophysics and it is about interaction of the x-rays with the matter now these topics are extensively covered in detail covered somewhere else in our uh, youtube channel or on the uh, website now with this brief introduction let's get going today's topic we are going to cover uh, uh, before that i have to make some disclosures disclosures acknowledgement and disclaimers most of the material we are using here is our own but some of our some of it we have downloaded from net which is a royalty free we acknowledge with thanks all those from where from who we have got all this material. Now today's topic is interaction of X-ray with the matter. Now let us understand it in better so that we know radiation effect also, radiation protection also and how to take care while designing a radiography department. Everything is uh, agreed, considered and known provided you know how a X-ray interacts with the matter. So here we go with uh, interaction of X-rays with the matter topic in short covered for the radiology students. Now X-ray photons are created by interaction of energetic electrons with matter at the atomic level now photons that is x-rays energy pocket end their life by transferring their energy to the electrons in the matter or you can call this as they deposit their energy into the electrons of the matter now x-ray interactions are important in diagnostic examination for many reasons that already we have seen in introduction now understanding of the image formation is also covered in this topic image is formed in a radiographic examination by two process one is photo effect and second is Crompton scatter. These are the two main ways how the image is formed. First now let us know the photon interaction. X-ray or photons are individual units or pocket of energy as this X-ray beam passes through and any object it ends in following three ways. It can penetrate the section of the matter through and through without interchanging. It can interact with the matter and be completely absorbed by, the, by depositing its energy with the matter and third is it can interact and be scattered or deflected from its original direction and deposits part of its energy. See here we are seeing X-ray unit is X-ray ray is coming from X-ray unit and it is leaving. So three things can happen. It can get totally absorbed, it can get through and through or it can get partially absorbed. All these things are important in formation of image. This is the fate of the X-ray when it enters the body and leaves it. How a photon deposits its energy that is by two type of interactions. In one type of interaction the photon loses all its energy in the other it loses a portion of its energy and remaining energy is scattered here we are seeing it a photon is coming and then either how the fate occurs it can leave as a kinetic energy it can leave a kinetic energy and a scattered photon so these are things that can happen when a x-ray hits an object that we usually take as a body part for imaging of any organ a X-ray beam when strikes it, it enters the anterior most portion or the superior most part of the object. There it interacts with the intervening tissues and then exits the body to strike a digital sensor or a film. So X-ray comes, it hits the body in between other different organs. They either allow it to go, they partially absorb it or they totally end X-ray. When X-ray deposits energy into the matter. Now which goes out, hits a sensor or a film and an image is formed. When the beam goes through the patient it is attenuated or reduces in intensity. In the process X-ray beam or photons are either absorbed, changed into the scattered beam or exit without any change. Same thing happens here see no interaction then coherent scattering, photoelectric absorption and Crompton scattering. Interaction of X-ray with the matter let's continue. What happens in the process of interaction incident beam striking the patient is spatially homogeneous. Spatially homogeneous means uniform spread throughout all the available surface and a reminder beam the beam that exits the patient is spatially heterogeneous that is it is not uniformly spread spatially non-uniform means non-uniformly spread throughout the available space meaning of uh, spatially is to occupy the space the difference the differential exposure or the film allows the radiographer to reveal morphological features of different organs like bone fat ear and soft tissue separately 
this happens due to three means of interactions coherent scattering photoelectric absorption and crompton scattering let's see them one by one first we'll see coherent scattering then we see photoelectric absorption and then we will see crompton scattering one after another first is coherent scattering subtypes are classical elastic or thomson scattering these are the subtypes when a low energy incident photon less than 10 kV passes near an outer electron shell momentarily excites the electron at that frequency. The excited electron then returns to its ground state and generates another X-ray photon with the same frequency or the, with the same energy. Now, continuing with coherent scattering, here you can see a incident photon is coming and leaving as a scattered photon. Now, coherent scattering continuing accounts for only about 7% of the number of interactions. Then, secondary photon is emitted at an angle to the path of incident photon. Direction of the incident X-ray photon is altered. Since the number of scattered photon is small, it can only cause a film fog and contributes nothing to a image formation. Fog is something which we don't want. It just gives the details of the film. Even many of them do not reach the film or sensor since their energy is too low. Now, summary of coherent scattering. There are two types of interaction that produce scattered radiation. There are variety of names including coherent, Thomson, Rayleigh, classical and elastic. These all are synonymous and different different people have named them differently. It's purely scattering interaction and deposits no energy in the matter. It's generally not significant in most of the diagnostic procedures since the type of interaction is at low photon energies and do not cause much of the biological effects. Now let's go to the B that is photoelectric absorption. When an incident photon interacts with electron in the inner orbit of the atom of the absorbing medium, photon eject the electron from its orbit and it becomes a recoil electron. Kinetic energy that is recoil electron is equal to the energy of the incident photon minus binding energy of that electron. Now in case of atom with low atomic numbers for example those in the most of the biological molecules binding energy is small and the recoil electron requires most of the energy of its incident photon. The amount is about 23% of it amounts to around 23% of the interactions continuing B photoelectric absorption electron deficiency in instantly filled by high level electron and it releases a characteristic radiation frequency of photoelectron interaction varies directly with the third power of the atomic number of the absorber here we can see a incident photon you can see photoelectric electron then there will be a vacancy which will be filled by the outer shell electron and in that all it will release a high energy level electron so that is photoelectric absorption now effective atomic number of the compact bone is 13.8 is greater than that of the soft tissue 7.4 probability that a photon will be absorbed by a, a photoelectric interaction in the bone is approximately 6.5 times the diameter is readily seen on the dental radiograph as a difference in the opacity or optical density of the images third now we are coming to crompton scattering 49 percent of the interactions this contributes to measure then incident photon collides with the outer electron which receives kinetic energy and recoil from the point of impact the path of the impact photon is deflected by the interaction the energy of the scattered photon equals the energy of the incident photon minus the sum of the kinetic energy gained by the recoil electron and the binding energy simple to understand easy calculation then scattered photons continues on their new path causing further ionization darken and degrade the image while carrying the number of electron in bone is given is greater than that of the soft tissues probability of a crompton interaction is directly proportional to the electron density of the absorber now here you are seeing a incident photon is coming and it is resulting in two wanting scattered photon of lower energy and a recoil electron now in short crompton scattering what is crompton scattering energy is absorbed and a photon is produced with a reduced energy this, pho this photon leaves the site of interaction in a direction different than that of the original photon because of the change in photon direction this type of interaction is classified as scattering process now in effect portion of the incident radiation bounces off or scattered by 
by the material now let us recap this chart will give you all the thing which we describe in detail coherent scattering photoelectric effects and crompton scattering all the three are given to summarize posit and have a better grasp of it so in conclusion what we have seen briefly coherent scattering photoelectric absorption and crompton scattering these are the interactions the type of interaction of the essay with the matters matter is usually a body parts the detailed lecture is also available on same topic in the website you can get them or on the youtube channel through the playlist now with that we are coming to end of my lecture i thank you for giving me your valuable time please visit our website for comprehensive and detailed lecture over this topic and also many other topic thank you goodbye and good luck